हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन टू योर ओन चैनल दृष्टि आई एस इंग्लिश माई नेम इज प्रज्ञा एंड इन टूडे इज इंटरेस्टिंग एपिसोड ऑफ एनवायरमेंट प्राइमा वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट अ फैसिनेटिंग टॉपिक ऑफ क्लाइमेटिक साइंसेज द टाइटल ऑफ आर टूडे इज डिस्कशन इज स्पेसिफिक डिकेडल ऑस्टिलेशन इन दिस डिस्कशन वील फर्स्टली स्टडी अबाउट दिस पीडियो द फेनोम ऑफ द स्पेसिफिक डिकेडल ऑस्टिलेशन देन वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू सी द फेनोम नोन एज and so or the el nino southern oscillation then we are also going to analyze why pdo enhances the frequency of cyclones then we are also going to study about the relation between pdo and enso then we are also going to see a relation between pdo and global warming and lastly we'll see a practice question for your prelims examination and a practice question for your mains examination so if i talk about the background of our today's topic this specific decadal oscillation or the pdo has entered into its cooler phase since 2019 and this combined with global warming global warming is definitely going to increase the tropical cyclones around the equator so you could predict that yes the tropical cyclones around the equators are going to increase we'll see an increased frequency of this cyclone so this brings us to the moot question of our today's discussion that what is the phenomenon of this specific decadal oscillation so to understand this phenomenon let us firstly understand the meaning of this term oscillation so oscillation refers to recurring recurring plus regular variations in a pattern so basically this phenomenon of specific decadal oscillation is a climatic weather pattern that happens around every 20 30 years and this has a huge impact on climate and weather okay so pdo is a long term ocean fluctuation in the pacific ocean and it is a naturally occurring phenomenon that shifts between warm and cool phases with each phase lasting around 20 to 30 years so what did we understand that the pdo has two phases warm phase and a cool phase okay so this pdo has a warmer phase and a cooler phase and each phase lasts around 20 to 30 years now let us understand this better by a pictorial representation so as you can see this is the warm phase also known as the positive phase so what happens in this phase that the temperature in the asia region re, uh, remains cooler than normal okay and the temperature around the pacific region or the north america side remains warmer than uh, normal so basically it is increasing the sea surface temperatures it is influencing the sea surface temperatures and the uh, sea surface temperature around the pacific ocean remains warmer than uh, normal or remains higher than the average and this uh, warmer phase or the positive phase happened around 1976 to 1998 okay and currently we are in the cooler or the negative phase of this pdo or the pacific decadal oscillation so what happens in the cooler phase the weather pattern is reversed okay so the temperature generally remains warmer than normal in the asiatic region which includes india as well and becomes normal or cooler than normal in the regions around north america or the regions around pacific ocean so if you ask me the current state of this specific decadal oscillation we are into the cooler phase since 2019 as i have already mentioned and each phase lasts around 20 30 years and definitely due to this cooler phase we are going to witness an increased number of cyclones in the uh, tropical regions especially near about the equator moving forward let us analyze and discuss this phenomenon known as the el nino southern oscillation because pdo and and so or the el nino southern oscillation 
okay are peri materia to each other are analogous to each other so despite being a single climatic event and so exist in three distinct states or phases which are as follows firstly the el nino phase above average warming of the ocean surface sea surface temperatures in the tropical pacific oceans eastern and central regions so as i have explained that there is a warming due to the el nino effect in the pacific region and surrounding regions okay and the sea surface temperatures become higher okay and this is the positive phase of the pdo as well so what is the difference between pdo and enso enso is a climatic condition lasting for only 6 7 years okay but the climatic conditions formed due to this specific decadal oscillation last around 20 to 30 years so definitely there is a difference between time duration pdo is a long occurring climatic phenomenon while enso is a short occurring climatic phenomenon as a result asia experiences drought and insufficient rainfall so enso plus enso plus or el nino plus positive pdo plus positive pdo or the pacific decadal oscillation is not good for the indian monsoons so this year also we witnessed a decreased monsoon due to the el nino effect moving forward to the la nina phase so a cooling of the ocean surface or below average sea surface temperatures in the central and the eastern tropical pacific ocean so basically this la nina phase is very good for the indian monsoons so la nina plus negative pdo or the pacific decadal oscillation actually increases the rainfall in india actually creates more rainfall in india than the average and there is this neutral of phase of enso as well whether it where it is neither el nino or la nina and tropical pacific sea surface temperatures are frequently quite close to the average so basically it has three phases enso has three phases the el nino phase the la nina phase and a very neutral phase okay so i hope you have understood it moving forward let us analyze why pdo enhances the frequency of cyclones so what exactly happens uh, in the pacific decadal oscillation and what impact it causes on the cyclones so according to a study published in the journal of nature communications a combination of global warming and a cyclical event called the pacific decadal oscillation could make tropical cyclones more frequent in the coming years and this is what i am explaining to you this phenomenon has a huge impact on the climate and weather patterns and definitely it phases also has an impact like in the warmer phase you will experience more cyclones and in the cooler phase you will experience more droughts but uh, this phenomenon has a impact on the cyclones especially on the tropical cyclones so in 2019 the pdo entered a cooler or a negative phase and if it remains so it could mean more tropical cyclones in the post monsoon months that originate near the equator moving forward tropical cyclones do not form easily near the equator but can intensify rapidly leaving little time for pre uh, preparation so why does uh, the tropical cyclones do not occur near the equator because there is no coriolis force near the equator cyclones rarely form there but when the waters are warm they can pick up additional moisture and intensify and that is why we are saying that this pdo or the pacific decadal oscillation phases has a huge impact on the cyclones moving forward let us analyze the relation between pdo and the enso okay so i have explained that pdo and enso are analogous terms and definitely they depend on each other the only difference is pdo is a uh, for a longer duration of time and enso occurs for a shorter duration of time so pdo basically can intensify or diminish the impacts of enso according to its phase if both enso and the pdo are in the same phase it is believed that el nino 
लानीना इम्पैक्ट मे बी मैग्निफाइड एज वी आर करेंटली सींग अक्रॉस द ग्लोब ऑल्सो दिस इयर इन इंडिया द मॉनसून व डिक्रीज ड्यू टू द इफेक्ट ऑफ एल नीनो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दैट एल नीनो प्लस पॉजिटिव इम्पैक्ट ऑफ पीडियो लेस अ मॉनसून एंड ला नीना प्लस नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट ऑफ पीडियो हायर मॉनसून ओके एंड कन्वर्सली एफ एनसो एंड द पीडियो आर आउट ऑफ फेज इट हैज बीन प्रपोज दैट दे मे ऑफ सेट वन अन अदर प्रिवेंटिंग ट्रू एनसो इम्पैक्ट फ्रॉम आकरिंग ओके सो बेसिकली दे काउंटर बैलेंस ईच अदर दे काउंटर क्रॉस ईच अदर एंड दे इम्पैक्ट ईच अदर इद वेदर इट इज इन अ नेगेटिव वे और इन अ पॉजिटिव वे ओके नाउ लेट एस एनालाइज द रिलेशन बिटवीन द पीडियो एंड द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग सो इट इज थॉट दैट द नेगेटिव फेजेस कुड बी लिंक्ड टू टाइम्स ऑफ स्लोअर ग्लोबल वार्मिंग सो नेगेटिव पीडियो नेगेटिव पीडियो और द पेसिफिक डिकेडल ऑसिलेशन स्लोअर ग्लोबल वार्मिंग एंड द पॉजिटिव पीडियो इज इक्वल टू फास्टर ग्लोबल वार्मिंग warming okay so now you realize why there is a positive when the pdo is is in its positive phase or in its uh, el nino impact combined with el nino impact it causes more global warming and hence lesser monsoon okay so this happens because cold or negative phases of the pdo tend to increase mixing of colder deep ocean waters with warmer surface waters and this temporarily reduces the rate of global warming caused by increasing greenhouse gas emissions however positive phases of pdo have opposite impact that is they increases the global warming and that is why they create lesser monsoons or they cause lesser monsoons if uh, combined with the enso like the el nino effect okay and that is why pdo has a huge impact on the climatic and weather conditions with this we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion we have seen what is the phenomenon of the pacific decadal oscillation we have also analyzed its two phases that is the cooler phase and the warmer phase we have also seen the relationship between enso and pdo and we have also realized the uh, relation of pdo with global warming and we have also seen that how the the two phases of the pdo impact the global warming and the monsoons okay now let us discuss a practice question for your prelims examination so the question is with reference to the pacific decadal oscillation consider the following statements your statement number 1 is it is a long term climate pattern that affects the temperature of the pacific ocean and the weather pattern around it Your statement number two is the PDO has a shorter time scale than the phenomenon like El Nino. Then your statement number three is during a positive phase of PDO, warmer sea surface temperatures are observed in the Central and Eastern Pacific, while cooler temperatures prevail in the Western Pacific. Which of these statements given above is are correct? Your options are option A is one only, option B is one and three only, option C is two and three only, and option D is one, two, and three. so kindly drop your answers in the comment box below now let us analyze a practice question for your mains examination so the question is what is the pacific decadal oscillation describe the impact of pdo on occurring of tropical cyclones so firstly we'll explain this phenomenon of pacific decadal oscillation we'll explain that yes this is a kind of uh, climatic pattern that occurs over the pacific oceans and it has two phases the warmer phase and the cooler phase and each phase lasts around 20 to 30 uh, years okay then you will explain the enso then the impact of pdo on uh, climatic patterns global warming okay and you will write that yes if there is an el nino condition going on and if the pdo is in the positive phase definitely we'll see a uh, global warming and definitely we are uh, going to witness lesser monsoons and while the pdo is in its cooler phase definitely it is going to increase the cyclones uh, especially acro across the equator and you can conclude holistically that not only the pdo but there are uh, factors affecting the increased occurring of tropical cyclones around the equator firstly the climate change secondly you will explain that how the there are changing wind patterns 
changing ocean sea temperatures because are the, the, the temperatures of our oceans are also rising and you can conclude very holistically that so yes we need to decrease the impact of climate change and we need to maintain the average temperature of our oceans so as to reduce the impact of this natural events that are already occurring so climate change should be checked so you can conclude very holistically i hope this session was insightful for you if you have any feedback regarding this session kindly drop it in the comment box below if you like the today's discussion and found it to be helpful kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates thank you